Welcome back everyone to another brand new video today. This video is going to be incredibly important to anyone who is just starting out in their e-commerce journey or perhaps you've hit a brick wall and are struggling to gain traction to scale your business but this is what I would do if I was starting again from scratch and what I would do to get back to at least 10k a month in the quickest time possible. Now just before we do get started as you know I own a Google Ads agency. We specialize and help e-commerce businesses grow and scale their Google Ads so if you are looking to add Google Ads to your business as a channel for extra revenue or if you are struggling to manage them yourself and see good results then it's definitely worth checking out adraw.co.uk I'll leave the link in the description we are currently taking on a few new clients so get in touch and we'll see if you are a good fit to work with us now I'm just going to jump straight into this and this is what I would do to get back to at least 10k a month in revenue with very decent profit margins and this is what I would do if I was starting from scratch so quite simply what business would I choose it would be e-commerce. I have owned and managed Shopify stores since 2015. I have ran dropshipping and e-commerce businesses since 2016 and I can hands down say it is one of the easiest businesses to get into in terms of barrier to entry. You don't need big upfront costs to start this. You don't need high tech coding skills to get started in this and every year it does get easier and easier to start something like this. Obviously Shopify being one of the platform leaders for e-commerce is what I would go to. It's what I've used again since 2015. I'm sure a lot of you watching this already use or are at least familiar with Shopify. It makes this so easy. There's usually free trials for Shopify to get going, at least 14 day free trial, sometimes 30 day. You might get lucky and find a three month free trial for Shopify, but this is the platform I would choose. I'd go all in on e-commerce business. And like I said, for the main two reasons, there's low upfront costs and there's no high tech sort of skills required to even start something like this. Now, one of the things a lot of people struggle with is, you know, what do I sell? What product should I I sell I have no idea now one area I like to sort of suggest for people is a category or set of products that they are somewhat familiar with or a niche they're familiar with now you don't have to obsess over a niche to sell it but it is good to have some background knowledge on certain categories a good example against this is that some people you know I see when they send me their Shopify stores they try to sell you know very complex products that require some very in-depth copy to you know even portray what the actual product product does and what it is you know I've seen people try to sell sort of factory industrial type you know kitchen equipment for example that's obviously very technical and it's very sort of niche specific obviously they're trying to sell it because it's high ticket you know they're attracted by the big price tags that they could receive you know when when obviously they think they're going to sell these products but because they can't get that sort of professional message across to the people visiting their website because they have no idea what the product is what it does the technical specifications of it they end up wasting money on ads that you know obviously don't convert so i would avoid anything that's either really technical you know very in-depth extremely sort of high ticket anything above sort of a thousand dollars i wouldn't even go near to start with even if it's something like clothing this is something i started with and when i started one of my brands in 2017 i started with women's clothing believe it or not it's obviously not something i was particularly familiar with but the reason i chose to do women's clothing is because my partner ordered a couple of things that she'd seen on facebook you know through facebook ads and i thought okay you know other people are doing this and you know I've had these products delivered to my house let's see if I could find similar products on AliExpress and drop ship them so that's exactly what I did I started by building another Shopify store creating a range of categories for different women's clothes and within a matter of days I was ready to go now bear in mind this was back in 2018 when TikTok wasn't a thing or at least I wasn't familiar with it so I relied heavily on Instagram to grow my brand but now TikTok is a thing if I was doing this now I would definitely be utilizing it to grow my organic reach because I'm sure a lot of you have watch other e-commerce guys on YouTube speak about TikTok ads or just TikTok organic and you'll know how powerful it can be. So that is something I would definitely do here and one of the first things I would do to get going is post as much as I can on Instagram, IG Reels, TikTok to grow that organic presence, build an audience and because this whole method I'm about to explain revolves heavily around Instagram and obviously TikTok as well, it is important to build trust at an early stage. If people are coming to your Instagram profile and see you've got two or three posts on there, they're immediately just not going to trust you it doesn't look legit at all yes it takes a lot of effort yes it takes a lot of time yes it takes a lot of work you know producing content and things like that but once you get past that first step of you know building your page out and having quite a few posts on there you can just resume and you know move forward by doing you know just a handful of posts every week now because this is a video based on what I would do if I was essentially starting from scratch trying to get up to that 10k a month point I wouldn't focus on paid ads and this is exactly what I did with this I completely not ignored paid ads I 
I did use Facebook ads, but simply for retargeting at a very low budget of, I think it was around $30, $40 a day. But what I did and what essentially this method is, is building out your own influencer network and affiliate program. Simply put, getting customers of yours to promote your business for you. And in return, you know, they get commission, they get free gifts, they get vouchers for your website. Any sort of incentive you can think of, those are just a few examples. So here's what I did. Let's say we are a gym brand, for example. You can go on Instagram, you can go on TikTok, find gym clothing brands, you could find fitness influencers. You can obviously then go on to their followers list, for example. You can see what people are following these people or brands. You can see what people are commenting on, you know, their videos and posts. And all you simply do is approach these people because obviously if they're engaging with these businesses or people that are in your niche or you know, businesses that are similar to yours, they are your target market and your target audience. And what you do when you reach out is you present your offer. Don't just go in there and be like, here's my website, here's 10% off, order if you want to. That's not gonna work. You need to give people incentive and that is how you build out your affiliate network, your affiliate program, influencer team, whatever you wanna call it. Now, a good way to do this is give these people you're reaching out to a big discount to purchase from your business. Even if it means you're breaking even on their purchase, it means they're gonna have your products in their hand. They're going to be able to use your products in their pictures in their videos to help promote your brand now you might get a lot of back and forth you might struggle to find people to begin with but as you build your brand and that trust grows and as your social presence grow it becomes easier to recruit people onto your influencer team so what you do for example hey here's 50% off to place an order on our website and not only do you get a discount on your order we're going to give you your own personalized discount code you can then promote this to your audience and for every sale you get you'd get you know x percentage of commission or for example every five times your discount code is used will give you a hundred dollar voucher for our website any sort of incentive things like that you could be very creative about it those are just a couple of examples on what you can offer people so it's about giving them an almost irresistible offer like Alex Hormozzi says like I said a minute ago you know they're not just going to order off you for no reason they need to get something in return and that's not just a big discount on their first order but being a part of your team giving them incentive to promote your brand with their own discount code so if you are working on a budget, one of the things I guess I would invest in for this particular way of growing your business is a platform or a Shopify app that links with your website that is an affiliate dashboard or an influencer dashboard, whatever you want to call it, where these people you recruit can log in, see the progress of their discount code, how many times it's used, if you're doing commission, how much commission is earned, you know, because if they can visually see how they're doing, it's going to give them more incentive to keep promoting your brand essentially. Now, I haven't done this for many years so I don't know off the top of my head any particular apps if you just search the word affiliate on Shopify app store I'm sure many different options will come up and you know they're probably not too expensive a lot of apps come with a 30 day free trial anyway so by the time you have to pay for the app hopefully you will have recruited some influencers anyway that would have essentially paid for it and hopefully some more now I can't stress enough yes this is very time consuming one by one messaging potential influencers for your business it's boring it's time consuming but trust me if you want to grow your brand with basically spending no money on ads in the early stage this really is a good way of doing it now you will face problems your comments will get blocked on instagram you'll be blocked from sending messages on instagram same with tiktok i assume i obviously haven't done it you could get blocked for 24 hours 48 hours five days for example it, obviously there's no set formula there's no set strategy for this you just have to keep pushing past it using multiple accounts and things like that at one point i had four vas doing outreach for me because i simply couldn't sort of keep up and generate enough potential leads if you like just by doing it on my own so once you see success you can hire people to help you and do it for you but like i said this is something i did early on for one of my businesses back in 2017 2018 and and at its peak, I was getting about 1.5K a day in sales. Now, obviously, this isn't anywhere near to what sort of my businesses are doing now. But everyone starts somewhere. And because of the minimal ad spend, on these 1.5K days, for example, profit was sometimes 60%, 70% because there was very minimal ad spend happening each day. But obviously, I eventually hit a ceiling and I couldn't scale any further. So I eventually moved away from this and focused more on the paid side of things with obviously Facebook, Google, Pinterest being in everything 
I do now. But obviously the title of this video and the point of this video is what I would do sort of again if I had to start from scratch. And this is what I did to get me going in the first place. So I would simply just do it again. I hope I've explained this method somewhat clearly. If you've got any questions about it, please leave a link below. I know of people who still use these sorts of methods to grow their business. Like I said, it's very cost effective because you're running no ads, but obviously it's very time consuming and there's only so far you can scale with sort of this manual outreach method. But if you'd like, I could almost do a part two to this video on how to go from that 10K to 100K a month, for example. So if you're interested in that, obviously that'll be a completely different set of strategies and techniques to use. But I've rambled on for long enough. I hope you found this video useful. Check out adraw.co.uk if you need a Google Ads agency to help grow your business. But other than that, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.